Well, electric cars, snow, a literal blizzard. Today is uh, January 29th, 2022. We have a legit nor'east blizzard uh, up here in, uh, we're in Seabrook, New Hampshire. Uh, this is my 2021 Tesla Model 3. And I just wanted to get, you know, you hear a lot of things about electric cars, what they can do, what they can't do. I've owned this for 20,000 miles or 18 to 20. I'm loving it, but this is really my first winter driving experience. Uh, I've driven about 50 miles so far. We are just uh, stopping at the chargers. I, uh, of course, am the only one here. It's like uh, 15 degrees outside. I am freezing, but really excited to get some experience for the car, give some unbiased what I feel about the car. Um, we're about 15 minutes to the battery is full and we're gonna go right up to the seacoast where it's blowing the hardest and we're gonna see what's what today and uh, what, what this electric car can really do. I'm getting back in. <laughs> Snow is like uh, really deep. So we come on in here and uh, <sighs> Let me just warm up as my glasses go, complete fog. Um, we're charging at 60, 62 kilowatts. Um, that's about a third as fast as it would normally charge, number one. Uh, it is cold and the battery's at 65. That take about another 20 minutes to get to uh, 90%. Um, overall on the way here, this car was very smooth, very comfortable. Now we have a plow truck, which I don't know if we're gonna pass or not, but we're gonna try to pass, I think. Looks like he might be. Uh, I think he's turning off actually. Going around the other way. Are they using the crossover? Yep. So, so um, I could just barely see this car, and this car is maybe, 100 feet out so visibility is really down hard to see if he has his tail lights on yep. it is a audi what is this an a4 a3 whatever these things are called they are on but they are completely covered completely covered in snow could be leds could be leds you I know i didn't see these we didn't see these guys yeah that's a raptor pickup truck how do these guys feel that they're big big deal uh pickup trucks this guy's driving with his flashers on because he's nervous. He got passed by an electric car, like quickly. Um, and I don't really feel like I'm speeding. I feel like I got total control of the vehicle. ABS is right there. It accelerates, brakes, and handles. Uh, to be fair, this is probably more down to the Michelin snow tires than it is anything related to the car. Um, really loving these tires um, so far it really give me a confident planted feel uh, like I'm in control and uh, not the snow so the most important thing when it comes to driving in the winter and I've always been the guy that goes out in the snow it's winter tires guys okay no type of all-wheel drive no type of front-wheel drive rear-wheel drive four-wheel drive is gonna help you more than good snow tires these are the brand new Michelin XI Snows. Oh, she's Accent. stuck, stuck. Stuck, stuck. Needs a push. Well, we could go push them. I might I might go push that person. When we get over there. When we get over there, yeah. You can loop around, yep. come up behind them. Yeah, we'll give them a little pushy push. We'll go give them a pushy push. We'll get them to back up a little bit. Yep. We're gonna help that girl out. So uh, I'll park right here and. Oh my glasses, fuck. So uh, we just pushed the lady out. Um, it is. Proper cold. Properly cold. Uh, she was on some uh, performance all seasons. I'm call totally fogged up here. It is. Crazy storm. We're gonna get to the superchargers here. I can't even see, okay. Um, put a little energy in the battery, and then uh, we're gonna go to the coast coast, because we're about a mile from the coast. I've never seen wind like this during a winter storm, so. But Tesla's 
banging through it. All right, so uh, here's the superchargers. If you guys don't know how this works, you can kind of just push that. You grab this. There, you hold that, sir. The uh, cord's a little stiff in this type of weather. And uh, we'll let it get charged. If you see the back of the vehicle is, uh, she's a snow globe. Yeah, you got no back camera. No back camera. Uh, for you guys that aren't in New England, a nor'easter is an actual real term. Um, it's basically like this uh, cyclone, almost hurricane-like, um, and it just kind of sits right out by the Cape Cod area, and you get these brutal northeast winds. Um, I think the uh, weather service was predicting up to 60 mile an hour wind gusts, and possibly 30 to 36 inches of snow in this area. So. Uh, we'll start this back up in another minute, and we're going to go to the really deep stuff. Stay tuned, guys. So, uh, we just left the supercharger. Uh, we charged it up to 90%. Uh, I'm interested to see the range. Um, visibility is... I don't know how the camera is picking it up, but my eyes are saying visibility is 300 feet or less. Um, like I said, the biggest trait of a nor'easter is vicious northeast winds, especially right off the water. I don't know if you guys have experience driving in the snow, but if you don't, the biggest tip to being a successful snow driver, and I'm sure my friend Sean can agree with me here, is you've got to assume everybody is an idiot. Assume every single car out there is gonna go wide, he's not gonna stop, he's gonna miss the light, and if you have a plan to prepare for the idiots before they do idiot things, you'll stay safe. As, uh, I mean, well, as safe as you can be. So uh, we're coming up to only a few minutes from the coast. All right, so this is our first accident. Um, I think the guy's okay. Um, oh, he is kind of in, in the water. He's in the creek. Um, we'll see if... Uh, I'm not sure what we could do to help them out. Um, there's not really much we can do. I hate leaving people, but he's he's okay. And there's someone there. Already. And there's somebody there waiting with him. Um, it is definitely getting pretty brutal as we're uh, heading in. I will say um, my only mistake so far was the cheap windshield washer fluid. I uh, I just threw some gas station no name brand in, and I'll show you what happens. Uh, it just insta freezes for the windshield, so my windshield is completely frozen. Um, that's not necessarily on the Tesla for not being able to melt it. That is more my cheap fluid. Um, should have put the Rain-X brand or a name brand fluid in. That was my mistake. Um, other than that, it's it's pretty nice and cozy in here. Uh, and we are now just uh, you can see right here. I'll pull this up on the map. We are right coming up to the ocean. So um, this should be pretty brutal. We're gonna go up over here as well, uh, up to North Beach. Uh, there's a really good wave wall and I'm betting it's gonna be pretty epic there. guys I'll turn the defroster down just so you can hear me here is uh, Hampton Beach in what is possibly the storm of a decade is uh, how at least what the people on the TV are saying and uh, we made it here in an electric car no problems I mean I can't see anything but that's not necessarily my electric cars fault um, we're gonna go ahead and park up ahead We'll get out just to see what this uh, really feels like. And Hi right, guys, so here we go. This is Northampton Beach. There's a, quite a snow drift right here. Snow's up to my uh, knee almost. It's actually low tide right now. So that it's not coming up as high as I thought. But um, 
This is crazy weather and it's only gonna get more intense as the day goes along. As far as the car goes, that was the test. Electric car in the snow. Guys, this thing has been a beast. Back is completely covered. <laughs> if, uh, if I can drive here as the camera's fogging over, if uh, the car is good for this, it's gonna handle any type of snowstorm you throw at it. So we're gonna go ahead. We do got a car coming. Just put it in drive. Put your foot down. Um, I think the biggest thing I don't like is that the, um, for whatever reason, even in these conditions, the Tesla software is not saying I need automatic headlamps today. Which, uh, so you gotta manually turn those on. But that's really the, the only gripe. That and my bad windshield washer fluid. So we're actually coming up to one of the nicest bends. I wish you could get a little bit more rotation out of this car. Um, and I wish the traction control would go a little bit more off. But the reason why you can't is with one gear and instant power, look at the waves here actually. So I'm not sure if we can. This is one hell of a nor'easter. Does this storm have a name? It does, I don't remember the name of it. Yep. I keep seeing K and think Karen, and it's not Karen. It is not a Karen storm. This is not a Karen storm, although this guy is completely stopped. I don't know if that means there's something in the road, or if he's just... I think he's pulled off to the side. I think he's pulled off to the side. Making a sandwich or something. Making a sandwich. Although, what do we got here? We got someone stuck, maybe? We got maybe somebody stuck here, or they're just afraid yeah. and they want to stop, which I don't blame them. This is uh, this is crazy weather to go driving in, especially, I mean, visibility is 100 feet. But again, absolutely fine in the Tesla. Although these guys are probably doing what we're doing and just coming here to see the nor'easter because what else do you do when your work is closed down so overall of course duncan's is always open no matter what it's like you can pay them you could pay them overall uh range like i said it sucks guys i'm not going to sugarcoat it um range in this type of weather it's 15 degrees the heaters are on, the defrosters are all on, I'm hooning around. Best case scenario in the worst case scenario, which it is right now, is gonna be around 150 miles. And I know there's gonna be a lot of guys laughing at that, um, but you know, electric cars have come so far um, that not too long ago, a trip like this would have been impossible. You know, uh, as I burn myself. Um, I love this car. If you could take the politics and you could take a lot of your um, ignorance, and, and guys, I had the same feelings. I was just ignorant and blind. These cars have come a long way. Um, I love driving it. I love waking up to a full charge every day. I never have to go to the gas station on the way to work or the way home from work. And, um, you know, just what's the zip code? Do you want a car wash? It, it, you know, what day were you born on? It just keep asking you so many questions. This part of our gas club, party of the gas club, uh, it, cash or debit. It, guys, you just plug it in, just stick it in. I know, that's what, I know that's what she said. Kids show guys, sorry. Um, we're headed home. Well, the last shot will be, uh, does my car make it up my driveway? Uh, I'm gonna say yes, but we'll find out. So we're home in about uh, 20 minutes. Been about a 125 mile journey today. Um, and uh, it's been a fun time, but the snow is still ramping up. It's been a fun storm. So uh, I'll get back at the driveway and we'll end the clip up.
So uh, we're back home. Uh, like I said, today was probably about almost 130, 140 miles. It was a fun trip. Uh, everything about the car was great. Um, defrost worked great. You know, range obviously sucks, but we knew that. Uh, the only real issue, and this is obviously an issue here, guys, but this completely froze to the winch. I can't even pull it up. So this completely froze and it rendered on the last uh, 10 minutes of my trip, wipers would not turn on. Now, if I had better windshield washer fluid, maybe we could have melted this ice, um, but this really was a weird storm. It was super cold. I think what happened here is my windshield fluid was piling up at the bottom, the slush, and it got really slushy and cakey and it's totally froze solid right now. Uh, other than that, this thing was, this, this thing was a beast. It's going to be interesting to see where electric cars are five years from now. Um, but, uh, you know, the future is definitely bright. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you subscribe. And uh, see you next time. Have a good night.